Hi, hi everyone. I hope you're all doing so well because I'm doing all right. I'm gonna sneeze. I'm sorry, should I mute my mic? Oh dear, I'm gonna sneeze. Oh, it's passing. I think we'll be all right. Have you used out of his Xenonauts too? No, I'm not. I've never been a Xenonauts fan, really. I talk about this often. <laughs> That's probably not what you're expecting me to say. <laughs> but no, not, not really a Xenonauts fan. Hi, it's been like a couple weeks. It's like a couple weeks off. My, uh... Oh no, my... Oh no! Oh, my room is so echoey. Hang on, I gotta pull my green screen back out of my wall. No, I don't like that. Hang on, one sec, one sec. That'll make me sound a little bit better. Ha! I, I cleaned up my room, so when you clean up your room, you take your stuff out and uh, you get too much echo again because you've taken all your furniture out. Anyway. Hey, Exodus, thank you very much as you're heading off. Thank you for the uh, six years of tier two sub, by the way. Uh, tier two subs, 72 months in a row. Thank you, Exodus Infinite, for the six years of love. Thank you very much. I appreciate it a ton. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Have a good one. So today, um, I actually want to play a bit of Tarkov because they just like buffed all of the shit everyone's been complaining about for like two years. So kind of cool. Want to check just 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 for me? Want to check that out at least? I was gonna have an itch to play Dark Tide, and I don't mean like my usual attempts to play Dark Tide recently, where I like load up the game at the start of a stream, um, queue into a five and get no teammates, and then complain and leave. Like, actually play a little bit of Dark Tide, so um, maybe we'll do that. They done a patch for that, which made toughness regen bugged amazing, which is funny on Curios. And just, it's, it's you know, I, I, I played like, I played like a match uh, yesterday just by myself. Um, or Rune Jeremy, but like, as in like, not on the stream, and it was fun, I had a good time. Sammy says, what do you mean elaborate? So, it's actually quite funny for me as the main character of the universe. So what happened with me um, is I, I keep abreast of Tarkov. And everything about the new wipe has sounded bad, so I haven't had any interest in playing the new wipe yet. Until, I've basically seen this video from Veritas, a big YouTuber uh, for Tarkov, and big streamer. And they made this video basically being like this very well-reasoned, um, you know, it's probably quicker just to... I, I need to show you, I, I need to, fuck it, I ain't got enough time today to just show you videos. But anyway, um, point being, um, it was basically this video about like... Reasoning that the direction Tarkov is going is not good either for the community or for the devs like saying that you know you're Probably not doing what Nikita and the devs want for Tarkov either and basically was saying how you know like the guns having this insane recoil um, And the stamina being so difficult to manage and losing so much stamina not being able to run anywhere at all Everything being so heavy and just how things have got so like difficult to play over the years of like the recoil and the stamina and, and everything uh, and then comparing it to earlier Tarkov, where there was a different feeling of being able to play more fluidly and have more fun, essentially. And enjoying that game more, and that game better reflecting what the devs of Tarkov have said they want from the game. So... <laughs> my, my cat is outside my door, but she can't come in right now. Um, and basically, I watched that a couple days ago in the morning, and then like that evening... Um, it had been out for three days, that video. That evening... Battle state was just like where I will get their tweet. Hang on, Battle State Games Twitter. If I scroll past their um, tweet about Solazola and I go down, um, yeah, here they go. So balancing changes. We've made several balancing changes to escape from Tarkov, um, and those are. Reduce the recoil angle for all weapons. Reduce the stamina penalty when hit by any type of ammo. Increase the weight limit while overweight. Reduce stamina consumption in various cases. Decrease energy and water consumption in raid. Greatly reduce penalties from armored rigs and body armor. And then like a day later, they also reduced camera recoil by 20% for all weapons. Now... 
I... I would love it if I still have the clip here to show you of the FAL side by side. Because it'll really clearly show you the difference. Uh, let me see. Just give me, just give me like one second. Just humor me for one second while I try to find this because it was really obvious. Uh, but I'm not sure if I can find it again. But it was showing like the foul side by side. Maybe I can't. You feel very uncomfortable with that camera watching me. Can you turn it off, please? I mean, I literally can, but I'm not going to. I'm sorry. Oh, is it this clip? Yes. So, have a look at this, right? This is this is the foul. So, the gun itself still recoils a shitload. But understand, like, we're here to look at the difference. This is one of the most high-recoiling guns in Full Auto in the game. But have a look at the difference is the point. So that's before, that's after. So the foul on full auto, you're st like the recoil, the actual gun is still insane. All other, other guns are like a lot more controllable now. But the big difference to see here with the foul is the camera recoil change. Look at the camera recoil change. Going up to the fucking sky, this is like your camera being thrown up to the sky when you shoot the gun. And then this is, this is after. Just a fucking insane difference for usability. Uh, and like fucking... You know, sight picture, right? So good, 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 good stuff. So I want to try it out. I don't want to sit here talking forever because the day's already begun. I want to try it out. So I don't know what I'm going to do there. I'm going to maybe play some scabbing. Here, let me turn it down a bit. Um, I literally haven't played anything to swipe at all. So I've, I've got my like starter hat on and shit. And I guess I can start with the scav. I just wanna do some shit. Here, take me to take me to church. Take me to customs. Let me play the game. Are you kiddies are upset. Yes, she is. She wants to be let in, and I will not let her in. As always, a Tarkov game might not run so great on stream. If it's terrible, I'll I'll fuck with it for you. Or, I might just switch to Dark Tide, but I do want to play some Tarkov today. I would like to try these recoil changes out for myself. Obviously, with a shotgun, we're not going to see it, but, um... Well, you actually will see the camera recoil changes with a shotgun. I got one of those stupid little hats. Oh god, they're back. No. <laughs> no, ban them before they... Hello, face. You want to ban them before they... Multiply. Thank God, last time there was like 50 of them at once. It was awful. Everything I played last time we I, I streamed, but I, I took some time off. I really needed some time off, honestly. Um, which I know isn't any fun for any of the people who like desperately follow me to see more XCOM, but like, I just needed some time off. Like, I don't, I, I have periods of my life and, and doing this job where like, I just, naturally just be like, oh, I just can't come on this weekend, like, and I just take time. I rarely, like, just go, like, I just need to take, like, a lot of time off. Like, that usually happens, like, once or twice a year, and I, I needed it. Hi, Croker, how you doing? I saw your messages before I started. I just needed to not be here and just not be thinking about work for a couple of weeks. And just be able to, like, just go to sleep, wake up, and just exist. Should I be okay? No, we're okay. I just really needed a break, you know, like, it's e it's easy with streaming to just never take a break. Um, and it's good to be able to just wake up and know you, like, you haven't got anything on that day, like, you've got time off. Anyway. I should be good back now. But, um... As I was saying, one thing that 
we played, that I've still played a few times since then, is Freelancer. I, um, I really, I really, really want to get back into Freelancer. I really enjoy getting back into Freelancer. Let me see how playable this is, too, because I've been hearing, like, horror stories about this new wipe. With, like... <laughs> Shit, that's literally the way you're not meant to tab back into games for that reason. Um... Yeah, well, let's see, what time is it? It's 20 minutes left on the right, okay. Try streets? I can try streets. Yeah, I clicked, I clicked back onto my game, which is what you don't do. Hopefully no one just like randomly kills me. I'm a scab, like whatever. I think it's good to care less about this game. To a certain point. Like I usually never come up here because I'm like, someone's gonna snipe me and someone probably is, but like... Most of the time they're not. Fuck it. Just, just do shit, you know? die like half half your raids in this game anyway unless you're going really hard so fuck it where do i extract i've already got a lot of loot just off that passage between rocks okay that's easy we'll go in that direction remember if another scav shoots at us i don't want to shoot them back unless they've hit me We don't want to take the bait. We don't want to lose scab rep. Scab rep is good. There is a drum here, I thought. You can't get through there. Ah! There it is. I'm really heavy, Jesus. <laughs> A little pistol, thank you. Lost far and keep going, keep going. Remember if we see someone to not freak out and shoot them. It's been a while since I played the talkers. Stupid hat, get out of here. I'm just gonna hit all the stashes on the way to our extraction. If I end up playing more Tarkov, it's I don't think it's super likely I play a ton of Tarkov. But if I do end up playing more of it like I have once before, I gotta change my little guy. My little gamer fella down the bottom left to have like a Tarkov look. This has surely been grabbed. No? Why is there a backpack next to it then? Bizarre. What's that? That's a class 4. This is a class 4, right? They're both class 4s. I can try and grab it. I'm almost to extract. Just... Ugh. Oh. Fuck. Scary. Run. Frighten! Frighten! Scav! Frighten! I don't want that armor anyway. That's bad armor, that's shitty! I know, I'm just in the KD uniform. Yeah, I, I need like, uh... The operator shades, yeah, the fucking Oakley's dog. I need to dress up my dog in the bottom left, like Tarkov. But that's the question. I mean, the answer is both. I should switch between both. I was going to say, should it be a PMC dog or a scab dog? But it should be both. And I should swap between appropriately. Alton dog. <laughs> Alton dog. 
hope that person that shot at me is, was, isn't shooting me and it was just a, a one-off. I mean, isn't tracking me. I hope they're gonna leave me alone. I have no control over it, so it's better to just hope, you know? Just, just hope. I hope they're gonna leave me alone. If I have a golden cock in inventory, well, where else am I gonna put it? You wanna say it, don't you, Jeff? You can't tell me where to put it. Not unless you're a bounty giver with a 55 month subscription in a row. Only then can you have a vote. And where, and where I put it. Ugh! I'm in trouble. Ooh, hide. Scat frightened. <laughs> Easy. Archimedes9 says, I don't know what this game is, and I'm equally confused about the rooster. This game is, um, many different things. Um, but it's basically a looting simulator and, like, a PvP... I don't want to say sandbox, but, like, a PvP shooter. Put all my gains over here. I'm gonna try to keep them down here to not make a huge mess of my inventory, even though it takes a little bit longer to take them out. I actually did get some stuff like that. People are right. I got a gas in, which is really good for an upcoming quest, so that's awesome. That was, that was a good little scab run. That is a good little scav run to start things off. Uh, um, Chatter was saying, I need this muzzle brake for gunsmiths. That's good. Good stuff. And it's all free. When you do a scav run, it's all freemium. You don't have to pay for none of it. Here, where... When I, you can stop doing um, repeat and you can start doing just, just play whatever. I'll, I'll even put it on shuffle. I'll go crazy. Oh, well, it gave me the same song again. Okay. I haven't used this playlist since I played Tarkov like two or three years ago repeatedly on stream. Everything by the numbers. Oh, that was meant to be my bag. Let's get that big bag off. Uh, ish. And I'll take that knife. Cliché says, it's glad to see you uh, streaming the best inventory management game out right now. Yeah. It is the best inventory management game, isn't it? It really is. I love the inventory in Tarkov. No, I really do. I, I think it's done really well. One of the best parts of the game. I love Diablo-like inventories, and I love the weight system added with it. It's great. Every, every m Many more games should be like this. When I play a game that's just like a list of items now, I'm like, oh, so lame. Alright, so now Scav's on timer. What's our next Scav? He's a guy. So now it's time for a PMC. So we're gonna do questies. Questies is how we level. We wanna level up. We wanna at least get to level 2 so we can buy decent rounds for an AK and start doing that. Um, so we're gonna do intro. Go to Jaeger's camp, get the message. That one's clear. Uh, we're gonna modify an MP133, which I don't know if I can do yet. I think that's what I just got the part for. We need to find the Saliwa kits in raid. And we need to kill scavs all over the Tarkov territory and obtain and hand over MP133 12 gauge shotguns. Did I just get one of them? I did just get one of them. Oh, I spawned with one. That's nice. Don't think I need any of these other parts, right? No, don't think so. So you can have it. You can have it all. My empire of dirt. Oh no, what the fuck? I don't want dirt. Okay. So we'll probably go and do Yair's thing first then. The Gloomwood game coming out soon. We'll have a real-time case, case management system to Zincredon. Really? That sounds bizarre, but interesting. What are you talking about is my next question. <laughs> what, what, what does that mean? Cache case. Can you elaborate on that? Right, meanwhile, um, what are we going to do here? I want to put my medis down here in my secure. 
along with until I get an injector case, a couple of drugs, I guess. They nerfed Propertel. Propertel's not even a PK anymore, right? No, it is a PK. Didn't they nerf Propertel for some some reason? I thought they made it not a painkiller anymore. Removes pain, 240 seconds. No, it still does. Removes pain, 300 seconds. I swear they nerfed Propertel and everyone was like, good, about time you had to use morphine again, but it... It still says... I thought with this wipe they nerfed Proppy. Everything by the numbers. Did they revert it, or did they just not update the localization? Don't know. Proppy still looks good. Still, still heals you. Still removes pain. Looks good. So bring that. Um, don't want to bring too much of that, actually. Honestly, probably just bring some baby shit painkillers because we're not looking for combat. We're really not looking for combat at all right now. Um, get rid of that. Get rid of that. Um. I can just bring in a gun that I don't plan to use for anything else, like an MP5. Um, or I could just sell these and bring a pistol. I mean, I like using pistols too. For the job I'm about to do, probably just use my pistols. Let's get rid of all of that. Everything by the numbers. These rigs are all too much for what I want. Uh, I will wear the parka. I will bring the M9, I just want to do it differently. Splint can go down here, along with my bandage and my heavy bandage. Bring, some, bring two M9 clips. And bring some Puskas to reload with, not that I should really need it. Um, Gloomwood isn't a style of original Thief games. I thought Gloomwood was that game that's like top down, or is that Duskwood or Darkwood? I don't really need a helmet. I can sell a lot of this stuff, probably. Uh, Anomaly Gamma has furniture and stuff making her a little hideout. That's cute, Camelith. That's really cute. Splints, pains, bandage, bandage, IFAC. Okay, cool. I'll leave me a little Christmas hat. Cute. Uh, the org is in the game now. Unfortunately, it's shit. Run the scabber you just brought back. Oh, yeah, I did, didn't I? I don't need it, though, but yeah. But I guess I could take you just to loot. I probably won't stick around to loot, I'll probably just get in, get the job done, and get out. Um, is there anything else I really need here? Not really. Need to load another into the pistol, that's about it. I don't want a helmet, that's fine. Um, what do I look like? Yeah, that's fine. Just go like that, I think. I don't think I'm missing anything big for a non-combat run. You're just wasting time. Worrying too much about the rest of it. I'm sure all that. And we're just, gonna, we're just going to Woods purely to do that Meet Jaeger quest. Get his little message. Get his letter. This PMT looks like he was J6. <laughs> Just because of the mask and the buzz cut. He doesn't quite look tacty cool enough to be a insurrection operator, I don't think. He's not. It's not Magpul out enough. Does Magpul even exist anymore? I keep. I always use Magpul as like the meme in my head. But that's like over a decade ago now, isn't it? Magpul, I just dynamically shit myself. Doesn't look like he owns a boat dealership, didn't float in a private jet. Yeah, exactly. He looks like he's actually like struggling a bit. That's the problem. He's got an M9, you know, he hasn't got like his fucking tricked out M4 on his chest. Hasn't got his AR-15 all glitzed up. Nah. There's no way. <laughs> oh, Darkwood is the one that's the top down. Yeah, like, I think I played a little bit of Darkwood ages ago and never felt like playing more of it. But it's really fucked me up because there's these other games like that are called like Duskwood and Gloomwood and Gloomhaven and all this shit. And I just get really confused because they all sound the exact same to me. And I don't know what is going on with them, you know? 
they all sound the exact goddamn same. And I always think they're the same game. And I get really confused when I'm like, oh, they're not. So I, I just don't even pay attention to any of them because the it's too hard. It's too hard to like remember which one of the games it is when I try to think about them. So I just don't. Yeah, it's a lot easier that way. Thank you everyone for the subs, by the way. Thank you, Cliché, for the big tier 2 sub for 70 months in a row. Glad to see you streaming the best inventory management game. Yeah, I already responded to your message. Why am I reading it again? You said the pistol on too. Thank you very much, Cliché. Too many games with the word light in the title. That's true, like... Actually, can't think of any. <laughs> uh. Dying light. Thank you. There's one. Dead by Daylight, yeah, we hate that one, yeah. Yeah, that, that game's too popular. That game's too popular and fun. I hate that game. I'll never try that game. It, it's too popular. People like it too much. Seven days to die. No, you're, you're struggling, Kroger. You're failing. All right, we just want to run straight to that tower. Just get the letter and get out. That's all we want. Where am I? Are there mines this way? Where am I? I actually don't know where I am. Oh, I know where I am. Well, hopefully no one shoots me, but it's woods, so I don't really have, like, a lot of say in that. It's fine, you know, we'll just see what happens. You know, there could be just someone here who's gonna shoot me. That's, that's fine, you know. I, you can't control everything in life. I'll still be scared, though, when it happens. I'll still give a little, like, oh, and I'll be like, oh, oh, oh. and I'll be like, no, 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 and they'll be like, and they'll, they'll just fucking kill me, but it's fine. Yeah, what's it look like? As long as the frame rate's decent, I think that's the main thing. Crunchy. Crunchy grass. Yeah, it's always crunchy grass to talk of, I think. It's quicker to try and die and just requeue than it is to hide in a bush and wait for all this to blow over, though, I think. So we'll just keep moving towards. Speed of aggression, that's right. Nikabuta. We're going to sneak a boot. It's fine because I like when I get scared by someone shooting me randomly in woods, so it's gonna be really fun when it happens. I actually really like it. It gives me a little jolt to the heart, it really wakes me up. I love it. I think it's so fucking fun when someone just like lights me the fuck up on woods. Oh my god, I can't wait. I'm so excited. Oh, any minute now, I can't wait. I'm so excited. 
I'm tingling like a schoolgirl. I'm so. Oh shit. Fuck! <laughs> Never really heard them. Oh fuck, there they are! <laughs> oh shit! I'm gonna get the fuck out of here. I was lying. I don't want to get shot. I was lying. That was just me coping. It was all coping. I'm ready. <laughs> no, 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 no. Don't shoot me for real. There can be someone above me right now, but it doesn't matter. I'll, I'll never stop them in time. Just gonna run over here. Just gonna give it our best shot. I don't think anyone would shoot me. The Australian servers are very friendly. There, there's really no PvP at all on the Australian servers. No one even shoots each other. Uh, Shadow says you're not doing the tenets of speed, momentum, and aggression, especially not the last one. I'm doing speed, momentum, and compassion. Kindness and submission. Are scavs still stone cold murderers? Ah! This swipe? I don't know. That's a bad man shooting at me. I don't like that. Leave me alone. Oh! I just hit someone else! Commander, the council is requesting your attention. They're all around me. XX sessanta nove click e quattrocento venti XX has just tipped sessanta nove dollari e sessanta nove centesimi. Didn't manage to catch a single stream of yours during the holiday season. Whoa! So, here's some belated holiday cheer for you. That's a lot of money! Plus, yeah, I'm not even looking at it fully right now because I'm fighting for my life, but I think I just looked over and saw $69.69. That's a lot of money. Thank you for that. It's really nice of you. Thank you very much. Plus, yeah, you're a true friend. To the community. A true gamer, too. If I may say so. Thank you very much, Cliche. $69 to $0.69. It's really nice of you. Thank you. With your donation, I think nothing can go wrong now. Thank you very much. I appreciate that very much. It's very nice. You really use a good vibes and quality content. That's that's me actually. Good vibes, yeah. I have great vibes overall. Ugh, get the fuck out of here! Holy shit! I love to have good vibes. I should have went through, I don't think I will. Especially not since this, this is an open. Where do I gotta go to then? UN Roblox, I'm gonna go to UN Roblox. Or you... Yeah, I'm gonna go to UN. Oh shit. Look out for that scav. Run from the scav. We're not here for combat. And I hear the scavs like our murderers this wipe, so yeah. Let's not even try. Let's just keep going. We just gotta get across this field. Oh shit. Careful when you aim at them, they see you. You know, they see you. We'll go this way. When you aim at a scav in Tarkov, they have like a literal cheat sensor that'll start to kick in and turn around and look at you eventually. So don't aim at anyone you're not about to like be ready to kill when they're an AI scav. I'm not talking about player scabs, obviously. That's obviously not the case. Unless they're literally hackers, then, you know, it is the case, but you know what I mean. 
Oh shit, I think I hear a bitch. Oh shit. Hang on, we need to, we need to get down. It's an angry scab up ahead. Oh shit. A little frightening. The letter me me go. Yeah, the letter's a, a quest objective basically. Now I just gotta make it like 20 seconds run up here. And we're free. I'm just gonna make it past this wall and I'm out with my quest objective. Na 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 na. Okay, we did it. You did it. Mission Commission signing off. Easy peasy. So. You just playing a jogging sim right now and I see much looting going on. Yeah, because I just went in to get this job done. So when I when I play Torgon, I tend to like just do one thing at a time, be very objective focused. Cause I feel like if you the longer you stay in a raid, the more especially when you haven't got any gear like me, the longer you stay in the raid, the more likely it is that you're gonna get blasted and just have to do the attempt it again. So I like to just go straight in for what I want to do, get it done and get out. Um, in this case, I wanted to get a letter from underneath a woodcutter's hut. Um, and because that's an objective I need for a quest to meet one of the traders and it gives me XP. So I'll try to explain a bit more as we go here because uh, it's been ages since I played Tarkov on stream and not everyone knows Tarkov. So we're going to hand that in now, okay? We go over to this guy called Mechanic and we're going to go and turn in that letter. And then we complete this quest. We get some rewards and we also get to now have all the traders. You get Jaeger, who is the last trader, the hunter, who's locked until you do that quest. Don't ask why, it's just a thing. We're gonna examine all of the gear in here. When you play Tarkov, nothing starts examined. You have to like, learn what everything is by uh, spending a second scanning it. Um, it's a thing, you know, it resets every wipe. Here, we're gonna... Just scan all of this because it saves us having to do it in the middle of combat, in the middle of a mission. You got, you want to do it eventually. And you get a tiny bit of XP for it as well, so why not? Just like takes a second to do at this point. Is there an examinal button action? No, there isn't. There is not. Examining everything at the start of a, a wipe is like... Just a thing you do. <laughs> I know when I first played this game I was like, that's so stupid. And honestly, it still is so stupid, but... You, you really get used to it, like... <laughs> I think you get used to it because there are so much bigger problems in Tarkov that that stops even registering as, like, a problem. <laughs> to me, <laughs> it's... <laughs> Alright, so that's done. We can take his quest now. Which is... Oh! I have some croutons for him, too. So he wants... He wants croutons to be found in, in mission... He wants Isker ration packs and cans of beef stew. So we'll keep your eyes out for all of those. Alright, and then we kill one of the scavs, which we need for another quest. We've got a bunch of quests. So all these traders you buy and sell stuff to, they also all have their own jobs. So we want to kill more scavs. It's probably time for my next scav run though, right? Soon, probably like five minutes off, yeah? Yeah, so we'll do another scav run. So, the difference between scav runs, for those of you who, yeah, really aren't Tarkov familiar, is that the PMC is the main game, the main character. They're the, they're the loadout we're seeing here. They're you, they're your main person. Um, and whenever you die as them, you lose everything except what's inside this little secure pouch down here. You lose all this other stuff when you die. Um, when you're a scav, the same is true, but scavs are like this, on a cooldown, regenerating different guy. 
um, that start with like a lot shoddier gear generally. Like they're scavengers. They're they're part of the the world more. You know, your PMC is like a hostile force to the Tarkov area, whereas scavs are like they're the locals scavenging. And they have, like, this shitty scavenger gear they tend to start. Well, sometimes it's, it's better, you know? It's a bit random what you get. It's like a random loadout. And when you die as a scav, you lose your shit still, but you didn't pay for any of it, so it's kind of free. Uh, and anything you get out of a scav, you can put into your inventory for your main guy. So then your main guy can use whatever you find. Cliché says scavs are the jans of this game. PMCs are the marshes. I have no idea what that means. But okay, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, PMC is only using your own gear, whereas scavs you get, you know, free shit. They also have different skills. There's RPG leveling skills in this game, and they're separate between these two characters. But that's not really a big deal if you're learning the game. Doesn't really matter. Brady Bunch reference, am I showing you my age? Yes, you are. Yes, you absolutely are, cliche. What are you, what are you like, 44? Thirty nine. Okay, you're, you're not much older than me, actually. <laughs> Cliché, what's it like to be near 40? Because, like, I've been thinking about it. I'm 33 this year. I'm 32 now. And it's weird. I don't think I've ever gotten beyond the idea that, like, I'm a young man. Like, that I'm, like, in my 20s. So, what's it like to be nearing 40? Like, I've been, I've been trying to think about, like, what's it going to feel like to get to that point? To get to, like... 36 or 37 be like, oh man, I'm headed there. Cliche says, I'm tired of my back hurts is the most succinct way to describe it. I'm, I'm tired too, so I feel like I'm already on the way. Can you just imagine being over 25? Yeah, it's crazy. I don't know how time is real. I don't know where time goes. Thank you again, though, specifically to Cliche for that $69.69 cent donation. Didn't mention catch a single stream of yours during the holiday season, so here's some belated holiday cheer for you. Thank you, Cliche, very much. Appreciate it a lot. What did we stream over the holiday season? Um, Darktide. <laughs> it was a lot of Darktide. Um, and then a little bit, I still don't play next game again. I took a break, you know, for the past two weeks. Yeah, it was Dark Tide, Dark Tide, Dark Tide. Oh, and Midnight Suns, yeah, of course, and Midnight Suns. Of course it was. Holiday season was Midnight Suns as well, and Dark Tide. Blade Sweep. Yeah, how can I forget about the Blade Sweep? Apparently in the XCOM channel they were talking about Jake was saying some stuff about, oh, you know, I'm not aware of any XCOM in, you know, any XCOM in development, da 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 Bullshit, Jake. Jake's lying to you. He's He's using... He's using clever language. He's lying to you. Jake said he's he's not involved with it. But of course he isn't. We all know Jake isn't the lead on XCOM anymore because Jake's lead on Midnight now. It's um it, it, it's Marky Marky N. Mark Norda is absolutely gonna be the lead on XCOM now. I would be really surprised if XCOM something wasn't in development under Mark Nordo. Just, just simply because the guy needs a job. Like, they've got their Civ team, they've got their what was Jake's XCOM team, which is now on Midnight Suns. So what's Mark Nordo doing? Because we know Mark Nordo isn't working at Midnight Suns. We know that he he had like some involvement with it, but he tweeted, you know, he he did a little bit of work on it, but he just helped out. He didn't do a lot. So, what, what's he doing? What, what the hell's Marky N doing, you know? He's got to be doing something. He's not just sitting around, you know? They're not just paying him to just sit around, you know? Yeah, it's scab bolter time. What, what the hell is this? Oh, Condi Milk. I love it. I love some Condi Milk. What was the round again? It's garbage. The round is garbage, what it is. I'm just here to purely to loot, so. Mark Noto announced he's playing live action Waluigi from Mario Movie 2. Oh, damn, the crazy. Damn, that's hype. Let's just run through and get our loot done. So, yeah, I mean, like, Marky N, he's gotta be working on something, you know? That's just logic. 
They don't keep Mark Yen around for nothing. He's got he's got a job to do. And after after he led Chimera Squad, that job is very likely it's come three. He was like, I think he was kind of like. I get the vibe he was kind of like Jake's understudy for XCOM 2, like the junior lead designer. Hello! We're friends! We're friends! Hello! When you're a scab, you're friends with all the other scabs, unless you shoot them and then you're a bad scab, is how it works, by the way. This is an AI, though. But it works the same way. If you shoot other scabs, the AI will be like, you're a little pussy bitch, and they'll start shooting you too. In general, I, I don't be a bad scav. I'd be a good scav. I don't think there's like any load of loot worth fucking over ever scavs for. Generally, any single load of loot is ethereal, ephemeral. All that really matters is consistency. Are there stealth kills? No, you can't, like, secretly kill one that the scabs don't know about. It's, like, om om omnipotence. Let's hit these little, uh... Secret stashes. But other scabs will shoot you, and, and you, I, I just take that, you know? I just accept it. It's like, alright, fine, if you want. Doesn't really bother me. It is what it is. It's like, uh... It's like being a corporation, you know, like... Under capitalism, a corporation will always loot and pillage and... take the best short-term gains... even if it fucks over long-term ones. Right? And some scavs play like that. Some scavs are capitalists. Some scavs would rather just, you know, put a 762 round into their own grandma if it meant they could leave with, like, a shiny treasure item. I, I don't feel that way myself. I think there's plenty enough loot for everyone. Does that AK not have a dust cover? No. It made the gun shoot slower, so we got rid of it. We didn't like it, we got rid of it. Yeah, it, it's the scab bolter, yeah. The famous scab bolter, beloved by all. No, I, I like being friends when I'm a scab. I, it's nice, you know, this game is so, like, oppressive. When you're a PMC, everything's so scary all the time that it's... It's nice to just walk around and, like, not be instantly killed by everyone you meet. I like that. I like the sense of community, it's nice. It's very nice. I believe in, like, scavs together, strong. Yeah, scav rep was a good addition, I agree. I don't think any of this is really worth a lot of money. But until I get something better. So really, the, the only threats that I really worry about as a scav is, is P the random PMC still in the raid at 10 minutes left who will, you know, gap me. But, yeah, it's gonna happen. You know, we can do better. I don't play a lot of scav, honestly. I usually don't even bother. Like, my feeling for, like, the last few wipes I played in was, like, if I'm gonna play a scav, why don't I just play a PMC and level my stats at the same time? I'm not gonna go in there. That's been looted. You know, why don't I just, like, take a naked PMC or a PMC with a pistol? Um, also because, like, I just preferred the feeling of a pistol over a lot of the sh guns scavs would start with. If I didn't know I was going to have good ammo. 
What if you're broken? I have no stuff. You can always afford a pistol. I've never been so broke I couldn't afford a pistol. I've never been that broke. Where is it? There it is. Oh, it's already been looted. I have gear. I have gear. So that's that's been looted. We'll leave that. Good advice for life. Mm, is it? Is it good advice for life? Hello. Hello. Hey, <laughs> I don't know if that was a real scam or not. Whatever. I don't care. If he wants to shoot me, he can shoot me. I said untrustingly and suspicious. I don't think he's hanging around. A lot of this has already been looted by the look of it. So we don't want to waste time, let's keep going. Caution! Can be very good for your life expectancy. Caution is the enemy of speed. But Beagle, slow is smooth and smooth is fast. Yeah, but also, you know what's fast? Just running is also fast. It's actually faster. Slow is smooth and smooth is fast is for when you, like, care about living. When you don't care about living as much, like, for example, you're a scav. Uh, just fast is fast. Just running places is fast. <laughs> That's right. No time for caution, Tars. Here, can I extract here? Oh, easy. We'll just get out here, I guess. Fuck up. Not much in this one. But it's all free. Quick and free is good. All this shit make of money. A little bit of condi melt, don't mind if I do. Stack the bag in there. Have a knife. I gotta like sell some of this shit, I'm already ran out of space. As you do when you keep all this crap, you do tend to run out of space. All this shit. Might sell it all now. Oh my god, is this the MIDI? <laughs> oh my god, I forgot I had the MIDIs in this playlist. No. <laughs> <laughs> Everything by the numbers. No, it's, it's not the vibe right now. <laughs> it's not the. I, you can't turn midis down enough volume wise. It's not the vibe I need right now. It's too loud. It's there's too much in my ears. What's the next job? So just finding shit all over the place. It'll happen naturally. Um, Gunsmith Part 1. I'm gonna look up if I can do Gunsmith Part 1 right now. Uh, new wipe means new time to click on the wikis. Gunsmith Part 1. You, oh, you need the pistol grip and everything. I can't be fucked with this shit right now, so fuck that. See ya, Cliche. Thanks for coming. Um, you plan on checking out Deadpool and Midnight Suns? I... I don't like Deadpool. I've never liked Deadpool. I'm not gonna start now. The only thing I really have to do is, like, kill scavs and get shotguns. So I should kill scavs is my next task, really. Loot, loot and kill scavs. You better pistol grip from Jaeger? Oh, you can now! You're right! I probably can do Gunsmith right now, actually, right? Yes, you can! This used to be, like, a really hard thing to get. No, you're right. Okay, let's do Gunsmith 1 now. I can just play the Deadpool trailer for Midnight Suns, like, in the background while I do Gunsmith Part 1. You guys will know the answer to, do I want to do the Midnight Suns DLC here?
Is Devil gonna be played by Gemma? I don't believe so. You can just listen to this trailer in the background, and you, you can guess if you think Beagle has any interest in playing of this character. These vampires are getting out of control, and it's all Deadpool's fault. Don't be so harsh on him, Sarah. He's super brave, and super awesome, and super handsome. Why is cracking anti-hero? This is a robbery! Or... Well, guess what, everybody? Ah! Whatever. I'm adaptable. Have you guessed yet? Oh, Jimmy, my frickin' chuggers. Mortals! Magna Core Ego is eternal. Blah, blah, blah. What? What? Uh, yeah. I can be honest and say there wasn't the budget for it. I'm gonna be DLC! Where do I get the gun from? MP133 from Jaeger. Um, anyway, no, I have no interest in Deadpool. I've never liked Deadpool. I think Deadpool is annoying. If you like Deadpool, that's good for you. I don't. I've never watched any of the Deadpool movies. I have no interest. He's, he's like... Deadpool is like... Deadpool is like everything I hate about Marvel, I think. Just from the amount of him I've been ex I've been forced to be exposed to. A character for children, yes. He's just very... A character for children and Marvel adults. He's just very annoying to me. He's as quippy as it gets. How do I build this damn shotgun? How do I build this shotgun? I'm gonna sell some things. Get, get, get this sh get this shit out of here! We're just, gonna, we're just gonna sell some shit. I need space. I'm gonna need space. Everything by the numbers. Anchor says Deadpool was so when he fought Thanos in the Thanos copter. He was trying to bang death, he's just a skeleton. Hey man, that's cool. You know what they are beyond just a skeleton? They're a person, Anchor So try to remember that. You fuck. <laughs> oh, I needed to keep that cylinder thing. I can buy another one. Anchor Don, try, try, try not to be insensitive, challenge, Anchor Try not to be insensitive. Okay. Difficulty impossible. Incredon famous for hating non-humans. That's right. You're always out here. You're always out here being so vanilla, Incredon. Legendarily known for that. Okay, I got all of that. Should I go put a TBL laser on it? I think if I remember correctly. The legendarily vanilla white bread Incredon. Damn it, Incredon. Famous Terran main. Yeah, that's not me. That's Incredon. What am I missing from this thing? Uh, RK6 Tactical Foregrip, that's what I'm missing. As basic as chicken sandwiches. Absolutely, Incredon famously loves things like chicken. I know so much about Incredon. <laughs> Alright, is that enough? This doesn't, this doesn't look right, this doesn't look like the... Uh... Oh no, it is! It is the gun you turn in. There you go. Done. So sorry, I forgot to explain. For those of you who don't know Tarkov, uh, there's a series of quests called Gunsmith where you build 
out of certain parts, you build certain guns that you'll get given a reward for. And the, the challenge of it is basically hunting down the certain parts you need before you get access to them, um, you know, in certain ways. Or, like, getting parts that aren't ridiculously expensive. So that's done, because there's some more XP in the money, that's nice. Uh, how heavy is this knife? Cool, put that knife in there. Um, now what? What do they get in the next raid if I want to kill people? Uh, PS can chest. I've never been good with the SKS, but PS can chest. Could take a shotgun. Nothing wrong with shotguns. Nothing really right with them. I'm decent with pistols, or I could SKS and go for the chest KS. Probably SKS to the chest KS is probably the way to go. For hunting scavs and shit. You can repair these now, which is nice. So this is a change they made, which I do really like. Is they've made it so that... Um, it used to... So it used to be back in the day... Scav guns were like good durability, then they introduced all the durability problems and then they made it like a wipe or two ago that like all the scav guns start at like half durability and that was their maxed out. Now they've gone in the middle where it's like all the guns start at half durability, but their max is still high so you can prepare them up to be useful again. So now we can use this SKS which is nice. We're going to take out the HP though. And we're going to get some PS for it. I've never been good with the SKS, but honestly, it's time to stop being a little baby. It's, it's time to... But it's time to learn. Let's get rid of that. Take me to Big Prapor, who is not Sidorovich. Wait, do you not sell PS anymore? Huh? I guess that's a tier 2 thing. Ammo. Rounds. 7.62. The one we want is 7.62 by 39 PS. No, that's level 2. Well, there you go. Alright, so actually we're not using the SKS. Never mind. Uh, we will use instead... Could go for the shotgun then. Do I have Magnum Buck at least? Jaeger, my, my shotgun boy. Do you have Magnum Buck? No, you have normal buckshot, which is fine. But Magnum, it must be tier 2 as well. Yeah, Magnum buckshot is tier 2 for your, your Magnum dong, okay. We'll just use normal 7mm buckshot. I've also never been a big shotgun guy, but again, let's do it. I like to go for chesties these days. Let's, uh, I think I already have some in my inventory. There you go, 7mm seven seven millimeter buckshot. This shit is cheap as hell, so just put it in your pockets. And if you want to carry more, put it in your secure, but that's fine. Painkillers go to here. And we're also going to get rid of this rig. Okay, um, as I am going to fight, I wouldn't mind having a helmet. Can I at least buy a rat neck at this point? I can't buy anything when you're low level. you got to get higher level to get access to better things. Have you been playing Tarkov? I am, yeah. I cannot buy a rat neck, I can only buy a piss helmet. I don't really want to buy a piss helmet. Mm, I don't really want to buy a, a piss helmet. Wait, that'll be fine. Let's get rid of this half mask. And let's put on some real style. There we go, now we're talking. All right, and together with our shotgun, uh, you know what? I want to put a. Has this got any like things for tacticals? No, it doesn't. I want to put a laser on it. Should take the sprit ring, right? I guess this one doesn't. We can buy a better shotgun than this one. We can buy like a MP133 here. Because I think the 590s are pump anyway. You don't really want to pump. This is semi-auto, right? No, it's a pump action shotgun too. Why did I buy it then? Where's the one that isn't pump? Where's the one that's semi-auto? This one. It's the MP153. I don't think I can buy that just yet. 
No, not just yet. MP18. What is this? S single shot, seven by sixty-two. Oh, it's like a like a Mosin. I haven't played for a wiper too, so. All right, still, I already bought it. So where is it? In my inventory. Now this has room for a sprut, right? Yeah, there's room for a sprut. So we go to here, and a sprut is an attachment that goes around the shotty gunny. I'll just go to the fleet and I'll find it this way, hopefully. Oh, I can't buy that either. You really can't buy shit at level one, huh? Like, they really took it all away. Okay. Oh, fuck, I'll just put this in. Let's not overthink it too much. I want to get in and get it going. And we'll go back to customs. There's streets. We should do an scab on the streets and learn any map. Silly Beagle. Jumping into the game, being like, I want to check out the new recoil of Tarkov. Beagle, you fool. You absolute idiot. You simpleton. You're level 4. You can't use guns that have full auto yet. It's okay, once we hit level 2... Oh, uh, sorry, level 2 uh, traders. Will I get access to stuff that allows us to run AK-47s? I mean, AK-74s. And that's what I want. I want to run AK-74s. But for now, it's, it's pistols. It's shotguns that kind of thing we're not really here for combat which makes hunting down scavs an anomaly for early quests for me i'm usually just focusing on running around like a rat getting the jobs done and not fighting anyone uh, early on i really got that um I really got that itch to play some dark today i really want to you know what else i've been playing lately warno um which is a game i despise when it first came out, I was like, this fucking, this garbage is just a worse Wargame Red Dragon. And I'm already mad at Red Dragon. Played some more Warner recently. Particularly with their update they just done. Oh, they're holding that shotgun, interestingly. Um, they just did this update where they did something really cool. Where they, um, like, basically made units more survivable in Warno. But they made them, you know, it's more about suppression. Like, you suppress units first, then you kill them. Rather than just insta dying, I really like it. Um, I've actually played a bunch of it against the computer. Not against. I haven't been able to like play uninterrupted matches. So I haven't played against people yet in Warno, but I've been playing against the AI and I've been really enjoying it more. It's actually kind of cool. Um, reminds me when I first started playing like European Escalation War Game, and I was like, oh, this is like really sick. Actually, this is awesome. So, been thinking about maybe I should try it against people sometime. But maybe I'm just a, a, an old an old duddy at this point because I've just been enjoying playing against the AI too on the same map, and it's been fun enough. Camelot says I like what they did with campaigns of Steel Division, and I hope they get those into Warno soon. Oh yeah, what did they do, Camelot? Yeah, it's been like a bit of Warno, and then just a bit of like freelancer on the side, um, wanting to work on that more, but you know, trying to get over that initial hurdle of getting started again. So instead, I've just been kind of like playing it. I really enjoy playing that freelancer mod of mine against the AI, which I think really speaks to me that I did a good job balancing it into that position. And that there's something there to work more on, you know? 